parallel arrangement of identical cells. Parallel arrangement of identical cells. Now, this is one cell of internal resistance small r, second cell of internal resistance small r, third cell of internal resistance small r, right? All the n cells, that is n cells. Now there is a common point A. There is a common point B. Every cell EMF E, 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 E. Internal resistance small r, internal resistance small r, internal resistance small r. Right? All the positive terminals are connected to a common point. All the positive terminals are connected to a common point. All the negative terminals are connected to a common point. Finally close the circuit with external resistance. Close the circuit with the external resistance. Now, what is the current? Parallel arrangement of identical cells E, 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 right, of internal resistance small r, small r, small r are connected to the external resistance, what do you say, R. Now, in this case, total current in the circuit, total current, right, I is equal to total EMF total EMF by total resistance, total resistance or otherwise net EMF by net resistance, right? Net EMF is represented by EP. Net resistance is represented by Rp. Now you want to calculate net EMF, you want to calculate net resistance. Therefore, I, this is called first equation. Right? Calculation of net EMF, that is net EMF. Net EMF is Ep. Now here, whenever the identical cells are connected in parallel, Net EMF is equals to EMF of a single cell. Therefore, EMF of a single cell. EMF of a single cell. Right? EP is equals to what is the EMF of a single cell? Capital E. Therefore, this is called second equation. Cells are arranged in the series. Cells are arranged in the parallel. In the series, Net EMF is equal to E1 plus E2 plus E3 plus E4. In the parallel, net EMF is equal to only E, either equals to E1 or equals to E2 or equals to E3. Now, because they are identical cells, therefore, if the identical cells are connected in parallel, now net EMF is equal to EMF of a single cell. This is called, what do you say? Right, EP is equals to E, second equation. Now, I want to calculate net resistance. Net resistance. Net resistance is called, what to say, RP. We want to calculate the net resistance. Right, from that circuit. Here, 1, R, small r, small r, small r, are in parallel. The resultant of parallel is in series with the R. Let us consider. 
Now this one, I1 is the current. Now this one, I2 is the current. Now this one, I3 is the current. Now this one, that is IN is the current. Right, I1 is coming, I2 is coming, I3 is coming, IN is coming as a I and reaches to I and reaches here the current is going to divide like this. Therefore I1, therefore I2 and therefore I3 and therefore IN. Now to calculate the net resistance, now only resistance calculation, now only resistance calculation. Only resistance calculation, this is small r resistance, this is small r resistance, this is small r resistance, and so on, this is small r resistance. Right, all the resistances are connected in parallel. All the resistances are connected in parallel. Right, this is connected to external resistance. Now what is this one? Small r small r small r small r now small r plus small r plus small r small r these are called what do you say parallel now according to the parallel right 1 by right what do you say r1 is equals to 1 by r let us consider 1 by r r let us consider 1 by r1 is equals to 1 by small r plus 1 by small r plus 1 by small r and so on. 1 by r1 is equals to n by r. That equals to r1 is equals to r by n. Now the circuit is equated as like this. Right? It is the resultant of all internal resistance. The resultant of all internal resistance small r, small r, small r, small r are in parallel, right? Therefore, this is the effective resistance R1. R1 is equals to what to say R by N. Now, what is the external resistance? R. Now, here in this case, these two are in series. These two are in series. Therefore, the effective resistance Rp is equals to R1 plus capital R. Therefore, R1 plus capital R. Therefore, Rp is equals to, R1 is equals to R by N, right, plus, what do you say, capital R. Therefore, this is called your third equation. Now, net, in order to calculate the net current, you want to calculate net EMF, net resistance. Net EMF is nothing but EMF of a single cell E. I want to calculate net resistance. Only resistance calculation I have done here. Right, internal resistances are connected in parallel. Next, there is external resistance. Right, the resultant of internal resistance, the resultant of internal resistances is represented by R1. Because these are in parallel, right, 1 by R1 is equal to 1 by R plus 1 by R plus 1 by R and so on N cells. Therefore, 1 by R1 is equal to N by R. Therefore, R1 is equal to R by N. Now, the effective resistance of all internal resistances is represented by R1 and there is an external resistance capital R. Now, therefore, here what is the total current, right, here what is the total current high, here is also current has a I, their current has a unique path, therefore they are said to be in series, the effective resistance, right, R by N plus R, R by N plus R, therefore here third equation. Now, that is this 2 and 3, 2 and 3 are in 1. Therefore, I is equals to, I is equals to net EMF by net resistance. What is the net EMF? Net EMF is equals to E, right? What is the net resistance? Net resistance is equals to what to say? R by N plus R. Therefore, now that is capital E by, right, this may be written as R plus, what to say, N into capital R by small n. Therefore, that implies I is equals to, as it goes up, right, N into E by, that is small r plus nr. Now, this is the equation. Whenever the 
all the cells are connected in series i is equals to capital n e by small r plus capital r into n therefore here case one write small r that is is greater than greater than greater than n into r which one is more this is more now this is less this can be neglected this can be neglected I, this can be neglected i is equals to i is equals to n e by right small r therefore n r is neglected it will become zero therefore i is equals to n e by r now n e by r is equals to i is equals to n into that is what to say e by r now case two right small r is less than less than less than that is nr which one is less this is less this is more therefore small r is neglected therefore i is equals to n into e by small r is neglected that is zero plus what to say n into r right that implies i is equals to right that is n into e by n r therefore n and gets cancelled i is equals to e by r now this is when comparing to the earlier series now parallel in the series maximum current right i is equals to n into e by r series right e by r n times here e by r only one time therefore here in this case whenever the minimum current we require parallel arrangement of cells we are using whenever the maximum current we are using you are going to get we require maximum current series arrangement minimum current you are going to get parallel arrangement i is equals to e by r 